The beta for Vision OS 2.2 now brings Apple Vision Pro users the ability to connect to your Mac, and then when you have your Mac virtual display open, you now have two new monitor options, wide and ultra wide. And this is a feature that I've been waiting for since Apple officially announced it back at WWDC in June of 2024. Uh, I've been waiting for this feature very patiently to arrive in some capacity, and we have it in beta. And so in this video, I'm gonna quickly showcase just that, the wide and ultra wide virtual display options. Also in Vision OS 2, I feel like the foveated rendering has gotten so much better. Um, it might not appear like this in the screen recording, but don't worry. It is just, it feels much sharper and crispier. The text is much sharper. Uh, just overall, the field of view, I feel like most things are in focus as opposed to what it was before, where it was kind of just more so what you were focused on. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that this makes the Apple Vision Pro way more appealing to you. Maybe you'll pick one up instead of buying a bunch of monitors. I don't know. Would love to hear from you down in those comments. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these new Mac virtual display options. They're pretty cool. So we'll uh, go ahead and connect here to my MacBook Air. And here we go. So this is the normal view. It's good. I like it in an environment. I don't like really having it um, in my studio. It kind of needs to be like a very minimal place. Otherwise, I feel like things get kind of lost with what's going on in the background. Uh, so I like to turn on an environment and who doesn't like working at the beach? Um, so this is the normal display that we had for a while, but in Vision OS 2.2, we now have a couple of different options. We go up here, and as you can see, we have wide and ultra wide. So let's start with wide, and you'll notice in just a couple of seconds, it will turn into a wider array. Now, uh, I want to stress that this screen recording isn't the best. It's just to give you um, an idea of what it's going to look like, but the quality is probably pretty bad on your end. It doesn't look that bad for me. It's actually quite nice. With the new update, we now have better resolution. It's more crisp. It used to be, with the foveated rendering, it used to be kind of difficult to see some things in certain aspects, but now most of the text looks pretty crisp and much more usable. But here's the cool thing. So I look down at my Mac, and all of a sudden, you'll see the MacBook uh, keyboard and trackpad here. And then when I look up, it disappears. But then when I look back down, it's there. So if you ever need to reference where you are on the keyboard, you can look down. And then when you look back up, it's gone and it reappears. I think that's pretty cool. So here's what four apps kind of arranged in that uh, new setup here with Mac OS, where you can pick and have it snap to different parts of the window. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, you have plenty of screen real estate to work with, and you can see four different apps at once, but it gets even better if you go into wide. So let's do that right now. Here is ultra wide, and it's going to get pretty big. It's actually almost too big. Um, of course, like I said, the quality is going to look bad for you potentially, but for me, it's kind of whatever I'm looking at in my field of view is like really crisp and nice. Now, before we get into the rest of this video, I'm going to kick it over to Dan wearing a different shirt to tell you more about today's sponsor, ESR. ESR makes some of the best iPhone cases and accessories out there. And with the new iPhones comes a new lineup of cases. These cases offer a sleek design and a slim yet durable back, which means protection that you can trust without sacrificing fast MagSafe charging speeds. ESR's own tests show that charging on an iPhone 15 Pro Max with the stash stand case is at least 30 minutes faster than comparable cases from other brands. The stash camera stand was designed to offer unrestricted phone use while attached to MagSafe accessories. From 15 to 85 degrees, you can choose the perfect viewing angle for any activity, whether it's video calling, uh, you're streaming, gaming, browsing, whatever it might be, you're going to find a great angle to do all of that in. There are three different types of cases that I have here. The Cloud Soft case, which is super comfortable in the hand, offers some exciting colors. The classic hybrid case that has that original look and feel. It's clear. It lets the iPhone colors do the talking. And it offers solid protection for your new device. And for those that need even more protection, you have the new Cyber Tough case. Now, the whole collection is meticulously tested to exceed military-grade protection standards, ensuring your device stays safe in any scenario. The Cyber Tough case gives you drop protection from the highest, most impressive height, which is 23 feet, while the classic hybrid and cloud-safe cases can withstand drops from up to 11 feet, which is still more than enough for me, and I'm not really dropping my phone from more than 11 feet anyways. ESR also offers an incredible screen protector with the easiest application process ever. Seriously, super quick, and you get no bubbles. So 
If you want more information about ESR and all of the cases, click the link in the description down below to check it all out. Okay, so I just wanted to open up like three apps and kind of what they would normally open up with in terms of size. This is basically full screen on a regular size display. And now I have three across this ultra wide. And so I can focus on one here and then reference two. And then the best part is, you know, you can just go in and open up. I know we have two music apps open, but you can have different versions of, uh, you know, Vision OS apps open up. We can do that. We can do another window up here. So, I mean, you have your Mac. Then you have these two windows open. You can probably put another one up here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put the App Store up there. I'm just trying to open up apps that don't give away any personal info. Um, obviously, you can open up whatever you want. So, I mean, this is an insane workspace. I've got my Mac here. I could do whatever I need to do. And then I can reference other apps in Vision OS up here. And I, I, this isn't really anything new in terms of virtual display and then having this up. But then when you have this ultra wide display, you just have potential for more things to be open. It's like having basically one, two, three displays here, six displays on top of each other. I just, it's making this way more intriguing for work. And I will admit, I have not used my Vision Pro as much as I would like over the last five months. And I think I want to use it more for productivity and less for watching content. That's what I use it for the most right now is just content. But for productivity, this is super, like, usable, like on a daily basis. I think we can use this to get a lot of work done and to have, you know, these other options available when you need it for quick reference it just seems way more productive for me. And one last thing I want to show you, I don't know if this is going to pick up in the screen recording, but audio now works from your Mac. It plays in my ears from the headset, which is fantastic. I'm using the side speakers on the Apple Vision Pro. Click play. I don't know if you can hear this, but my video that we just posted on the M2 Mac Mini uh, versus the M4 Mac Mini is now just playing in uh, the audio on the speakers built in for the Apple Vision Pro. So this is just a really solid update. I'm so happy that it's finally here uh, because this is one of the things with Vision OS 2 that I was really excited about. And so again, this is in the 2.2 beta. Um, also, all the other Vision OS 2 features are really nice. Being able to turn any photo into a spatial photo is just incredible, something you definitely have to experience. But from a working standpoint, if you're like, why am I spending $3,500 on an Apple Vision Pro? What can I use this for? You can basically get $3,500 worth of displays and productivity all in one here with this massive amount of screen real estate from my Mac and then having these Apple Vision Pro apps. And so that was a look at the new wide and ultra wide Mac virtual display options for your Apple Vision Pro. I think this, I mean, it was already a game changer when you could wear this on a plane and have your MacBook up and be able to get some work done without others around you seeing what you were doing. But does this make the Apple Vision Pro uh, more useful now that you can have more of that field of view surrounded with your Mac display? You can get a huge display on the go with you. You now can uh, listen to the audio coming from your Mac in the speakers here and you don't have to worry about having airpods in connected to your mac or it just blaring like on a plane or whatever uh so yeah would love to hear from you in the comments down below this has been down with mac rumors thanks so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you around in the next video